hello students welcome to nagesh karasgi orchid school so in the previous class we have seen about construction of circle and line segment so in this class today we are going to see about uh, different examples of construction of line segment and then we'll see the perpendicular bisectors so let us see let us see a video towards construction of line segment construction of a line segment of given length before constructing a line segment let's see what is a line segment here we have a sheet of paper now fold the sheet from the middle to make a crease and then unfold it here you can notice that the crease has two end points when a straight line has two end points it is known as line segment for construction of a line segment we need a sheet of paper a scale a compass and a properly sharpened pencil now let's see the step by step construction of a line segment of 3.2 cm in first step draw a line m on the paper and then mark a point a on it in second step set the compasses for the required length of 3.2 cm and in the final step without disturbing the opening of the compasses place the pointer on a and strike off an arc that cuts line m at point b hence ab is the required line segment so thus we have seen the construction of line segment introduction to line segment a line can extend in both directions and can go on to extend forever now if we put a bar or a point on one side so that it can extend only in one direction then it is called a ray further if we put a bar or a point on both sides so that it cannot extend in both directions then it is called a line segment A line segment is a part of line having two end points and therefore a defined measure. The symbol given here denotes the line segment. A line segment is used in almost everything around us. In geometrical world Most of the shapes are made up of many line segments. It can also be observed in real world objects like homes, buildings, windows, antenna and so on. Albert wants to visit his friend's house, Henry, living in same block. The distance between Albert's house and Henry's house can be represented by line segments. Observe your surrounding and list out few objects made up of line segments. So this was about the line segment. so we were seeing few examples from exercise 4.2 so let us see that question number 3 construct ab of length 7.8 cm from this cut off ac of length 4.7 cm and measure bc so here we are going to see first of all we are going to draw a line segment ab of 7.8 cm then we are going to cut off ac of length 4.7 cm and then we are going to measure bc so let us see given that ab is equal to 7.8 cm and ac is given 4.7 
centimeter. So, step 1 place 0 mark of the ruler at A. So, we have taken a point A and placed the 0 mark of the ruler at A. Step 2 mark a point B at a distance of 7.8 centimeter from A. So, from A we have marked 7.8 centimeter huh? to 7.8 centimeter. Hmm? Step 3 mark another point C at a distance of 4.7 centimeter from A. From A we have marked 4.7 centimeter at from A such that AC is equal to 4.7 centimeter. Step 4 on measuring the length of BC we have BC is equal to 3.1 centimeter. So, first of all we have taken a point A and we have drawn the total length that is 7.8 centimeter and from A itself we have taken 4.7 centimeter and the remaining length we get the length of BC. So, this is the question number 3. Next example we will see. Given AB of length 3.9 centimeter construct PQ such that length of PQ is twice that of AB Verif verify by measurement. So, we have the length of AB is 3.9 centimeter and we have to construct PQ such that length of PQ is twice of AB is twice of AB. So, let us see how we can construct this. Construct P x a hint is given in the question itself construct P x such that the length of P x is equal to length of A B. Then cut off x q such that x q also has the length of A B. Okay. So, let us see step 1 draw a line L of suitable length. So, we have drawn a line L which is of suitable length any length. Step 2 draw A B is equal to 3.9 centimeter. So, we have drawn a line A B which is 3.9 centimeter. We have drawn a line A B is equal to 3.9 centimeter. Step 3 from the line construct P x is equal to A B is equal to 3.9 centimeter. Now, for this A B we have to take it as P x because we have to show a line twice of A B and we have to name it as P Q. So, we have A B is equal to 3.9 centimeter and to show that twice of A B we have taken P Q. So, first of all we will draw P Q as 3 uh, sorry P, P X as 3.9 centimeter. Then we have X Q is equal to 3.9 centimeter again. Okay. 3.9 3.9 so we get we have shown it two times p q finally we get line segment p q which is twice of a b because we have taken p x 3.9 centimeter and x q 3.9 centimeter so 3.9 plus 3.9 is equal to 7.8 centimeter thus we have constructed a line segment which is twice of a b P q is equal to 7.8 centimeter. Thus, twice of A B is equal to P q. Next example is of the same kind where we have given two different line segment and we need to measure the third line segment. Yeah, now, we are going to see about perpendicular bisector. You can see this is a piece of a paper. It has been folded. It has been folded once and again it has been folded twice. You can see the angle formed between all these four sides is right angle is right angle. It means 90 degrees. So, any line which is forming an right angle any two lines which are forming a right angle. So, the lines are said to be perpendicular to each other perpendicular to each other as they are forming the angle of 90 degree. So, where we can see this perpendiculars? So, you can see 
for this TV screen. Then we can see for this cubicle box, we have 90 degrees, so it, uh, this is perpendicular to each other. Then we can see for this book, it has an angle of 90 degrees, so it is perpendicular to each other. Now we are going to see how we can draw perpendicular using ruler and set square. So you know in the geometry box, we have two set square of different angles. So by using those set squares and ruler and pencil, we are going to draw the perpendicular. Okay? So let us see steps of construction. Step 1, draw a line M. So we have drawn a line M and marked a point A on it. So whatever the points I am telling you, you need to write it down in words. So draw a line M and mark a point A on it and mark a point A on it. Next step that is place a ruler on the edge of the line M firmly. Without disturbing, take a ruler and place it on the line M. Place it on the line M. Then take a set square, take a set square and place it or above the ruler, above the ruler, okay. Step 4, now slide the set square till the point A, slide the set square till the point A. So you can see the set square was here and when we slided it forward towards point A, we, the, the set square is on the point A. After this set square will be placed on point A, then we can draw a line, we can draw a line here. Huh? So when we draw a line here, we get perpendicular, we get perpendicular which is forming an angle of 90 degrees. So these are perpendiculars. Now next we are going to see drawing perpendicular using ruler and compasses. Now in the before example, we have seen by using ruler and set square. Now in this example, we are going to uh, construct a perpendicular by using ruler and compasses. <coughs> Steps of construction. Step 1. Let M be line and A be point on it. So we have drawn a line M and A be the point on it. Okay. So what we have done? In the step 1, we have drawn a line M and marked a point A on it. Then we have taken a compass and taking the radius more than half. It is not a specific one, just we have taken the compass placed it on point A and taking the radius more than half, we have drawn an arc. We have drawn an arc. This arc is cutting the line at two points. One is at P and one is at Q. Okay? So, remember in the first step, we have drawn a line M and marked a point A on it. In the second step, Listen carefully. In the second step, we have taken a compass and taken a convenient radius of more than half and drawn an arc, which is cutting the line M at P and at Q and at Q. In the third step, then placing the pointer of the compass at point P and taking the radius more than half, draw an arc. Okay? See, remember once again, placing the pointer of the compass at point P, taking the radius more than half and draw an arc. Hmm? One arc we have drawn. Then without disturbing the compass, placing it on point Q, placing it on point Q and draw an arc and draw an arc. Now we get these two arcs are intersecting at a point 
that point is called as point B. That point is called as point B. Then we have to join point A and point B. Then we have to join point A and point B. Thus, we can see AB is perpendicular to line M. AB is perpendicular to line M. Okay? Did you understood students? Hmm? So, once again I will repeat. Draw a line M, mark a point A on it. Take the compass at convenient radius. Draw an arc which cut the lines at P and at Q. Placing the pointer on P, taking radius more than half and drawing an arc. Placing the point, compass pointer on point Q, taking radius more than half and draw an arc. So, these arcs are joining at a common point B, common point B, then joining A and B. Thus, we got a line which is perpendicular to line M. Thus, we can say we have constructed a perpendicular to line M. Thus, AB is perpendicular to M. Thus, AB is perpendicular to M. Next, perpendicular to a line through a point not on it. Now, we have seen in the first example, the uh, we have taken a line and drawn a perpendicular to it by seeing that point. Now, here we, we are going to see or construct a perpendicular by using a point which is not on it. The point is not on the line. See here, fold the paper such that the lines on both sides of the fold overlap each other. See, this is the line, uh, the horizontal line then we have folded the paper and after folding the paper we got a point A here and thus we can say these are perpendicular to each other. <coughs> yeah, we are going to see first perpendicular to a line through a point not on it. So, this we can use uh, do it by two methods. First one is ruler and set square method and second one is ruler and compass method. Okay, so, let us see, <coughs> draw a line M and mark a point A which is not on the, which is not on the line, which is not on the line. Okay, see the first step, draw a line M and mark a point A which is not on the line. Step 2, we have taken a set square and placed it firmly to uh, on the line M and placed it firmly on the line M. Then we have taken a ruler, then we have taken a ruler and placed it in such a way that both the ends are in such a way. You can see this ruler is placed behind this. Okay? Step 4. Now, this set square is passed moved upwards towards point A, towards point A. Then we get the point A here and the set square is placed in such a way. <coughs> so, this A is joined towards the line M and thus we can say we have we got the line AB which is perpendicular to M we got the line AB which is perpendicular to M. Draw, now, the next example uh, by using ruler and compass. So, again step 1 draw a line M and mark a point A which is not on the line. Then we have to draw an arc uh, at convenient radius um, and uh, it cuts the line M at PQ. Then from P we have to draw a arc <coughs> taking radius more than half placing the pointer at point P and draw an arc 
and then again we have placed the pointer at point Q taking radius more than half draw an arc. This line cuts at point B. Thus, we have point B here. Then we have to join point A and B. Thus, we got the line AB and line segment AB. We can say that AB is perpendicular to M. So, uh, this is the question, two lines are said to be perpendicular if both of them intersect at. Just now we have seen about the perpendicular, we know that when two lines are intersecting at each other, uh, what angle they are forming? Can anyone of you tell me? Yes, they are forming an angle of 90 degrees. When two lines are intersecting, they form an angle of 90 degrees. Two lines, line segments are said to be perpendicular if they intersect in such a way that the angles formed between them are right angles. In the following figure, the two line segments are perpendicular. You can see these are the two line segment, line segment AB and line segment CD. <coughs> they are intersecting at each other and forming an angle of 90 degrees. Thus, we can say these two line segments are perpendicular to each other. So, we have seen about perpendicular bisector. <coughs> now, we are going to see about perpendicular bisector. Before that, we will see few examples from exercise 14.3. These are same as uh, line segment. Draw a line segment PQ without measuring PQ, construct a copy of PQ. So, we have seen already this examples, but we will revise one or two examples. <coughs> Step 1, draw PQ of unknown length. So, we have to draw a copy of a given line segment where PQ is unknown. We do not know the line segment of PQ. Okay? So, the step 1, draw PQ of unknown length. See here we have PQ which is of unknown length. Then we have step 2, draw a line L and mark a point A on it. So, this is the line L and we have marked a point A on it. Step 3, open the compass equal to PQ. We have to open the compass equal to PQ. Uh, the, what is the length of the PQ? The same, we have to open the compass. So, step 4, place the needle of the compass at a and mark point B on L. So, placing the pointer of the compass at point A and cutting the line L at point B. Thus, AB is the copy of PQ. Thus, AB is the copy of PQ. So, these were the examples uh, which we have seen uh, for making the copy of line segments. Now, Exercise 14.4, draw any line segment AB, make any point M on it, through M draw a perpendicular to AB. Now, we are going to see drawing of perpendicular here. Step 1, draw a line segment AB and mark any point M on it. <coughs> so, we have drawn a line line segment AB. So, you can see this is the line segment AB and mark a point M on it. We have marked any point M on it. Now, step 2, put the pointer of the compass at M and draw an arc of suitable radius such that it intersect AB at point P and Q. So, place uh, taking the compass, uh, placing it on point M and taking the radius, convenient radius, draw an arc. We have just draw an arc, which is cutting the line segment AB at point P and at point Q. Okay? So, placing the pointer of the compass at point P, taking the radius more than half, draw an arc. Then, placing the pointer of the compass at Q, taking the radius more than half, draw an arc and this we named it as C and then join C M. 
and then join C m. Thus, we have constructed a perpendicular to A B. We have constructed a line segment which is perpendicular to A B. Let us see next example. Draw any line segment P Q. Take any point R on it. Through R, draw a perpendicular to P Q. So, here we have uh, to draw a line segment by using set square and a ruler uh, to show a point which is not on the line. Draw a line segment P Q and a point R outside the P Q. So, we have drawn a line segment A B and a point R which is not on the line. Step 2, place a set square on P Q such that one side of its right angle be along it. So, see here we have taken the set square and placed it in such a way ruler and set square and moved the uh, set square towards upside till we get the point R. Then when we got the point R we have drawn a line and thus we got the perpendicular to line A B. Thus we got the perpendicular to line A B. Thus we can tell R M is perpendicular to P Q. Line R M is perpendicular sorry uh, segment R m is perpendicular to P q. Next example, draw a line L and a point x on it. Through x, draw a line segment x y perpendicular to L. Now, draw a perpendicular to x y at y. So, we have to draw a line L and take a point x on it. So, see this is the point uh, line L and we have taken a point x on it. Okay? Then, Placing the point at x draw, uh, at convenient radius draw an arc which is cutting the line at p and q which is cutting the line at p and q. So, placing it on point p draw an arc placing it on point q draw an arc and then join m and x then join m and x. Okay? Then same this line is to be extended this line is to be extended. So, after extending we have we have taken the point y and at convenient radius we have drawn an arc and which is cutting at s and r which is cutting at s and r. At s keeping the com taking the compass and placing the pointer and point s taking the radius more than half draw an arc and Placing the pointer on point R, taking the radius more than half, draw an R. We got a point of intersection of this R as A. Then we have joined A and Y. Then we have joined A and Y. Thus, we have shown that Y A is perpendicular to X Y. Y A is perpendicular to X Y. So, in this class, we have seen about uh, the perpendicular how to construct the perpendicular and its steps. So, in next class we are going to see about perpendicular bisectors by a video and by steps also. Thank you students.